All right, so we just got a bunch of new updates from the official JP Twitter. Um, I'm over here on the Reddit, obviously, because I'm looking for some translations. Unfortunately, there's no translations, but we do have dbz.space with the data download, so that way we can go through it. But let's go ahead and talk about really quick the new cards that are coming. New JP Fusion characters. Saliza or uh, Cell and Frieza uh, Fusion together. Next one is Weiris or uh, Beast. I don't, I don't know how you're going to want to pronounce it. I don't know how it's going to translate over to the JP side, but uh, essentially Beer and we start mixed together. Barlot gets a Dokken Awakening. If you guys don't know, that is Bardock and Kakarot, or Bardock and Goku, their, their uh, strength form. SSR now gets a Dokken Awakening. Um, Tarble, we don't know if he's farmable or not. There's a question mark there, as you can see. Uh, we don't know if he's farmable. He may be, um, because I think he has a drop also from an event. But um, anyway, <clears throat> Dokken to previous Tarble. Uh, don't know what that means. Intelligence, new Gotenks, and he's a fusion category leader, guys. Um, and we also have the super attacks for Barlot and Weirus. So I will be showing that, not part of the actual the desktop display, but I'll show it in a second. Anyway, uh, first off, this is uh, the official uh, Twitter for Dokon, twitter.com forward slash Dokon underscore official. Make sure you go check them out, enable notifications. That's where we get all of our information. As you see over here, I will be going over this in a second. I want that to play. Um, we have all the new card art and everything, which is freaking phenomenal. Um, also, Hot Osama 7 we have over here, just because he did post up the information and the actual card information as well. Um, so, yeah, look at that sexy freaking Saliza over there. Man, <laughs> Saliza. Uh, anyway, so yeah, these are the new cards we're getting. We're getting six new cards. Um, uh, actually, I think, yeah, six new cards. Uh, the tokens. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, the Tarble. Um, tar... Tar... Tarbulence? <laughs> um, anyway, it went HP 50% or above, key plus 2, uh, attack and defense plus 20% up, it looks like. Uh, Gallic Gun, over damage to the opponent. I'm assuming he's going to be doing huge damage. Uh, visiting from the other side, change the powerful balls to a speeding ball. I don't know what the hell that is actually supposed to mean, but um, I'm assuming his passive skill is going to be changing strength to agility. So he's going to be an orb changer, it looks like, uh, and then some decent link skills. I'm not going to go over all of that. It looks like they're going to get new Awakening Medals too, which means a new event is coming. Um, this is his, S, uh, his SR form, his SSR form, uh, HP of 6806, attack of 5835, and defense of 3717. He Doken Awakens, and it looks actually pretty damn awesome. I actually saw this card art, and I thought that was pretty freaking badass. Uh, you have Vegeta and Tarble together, and it looks like they're doing a Gallic Gun. Brothers Gallic Gun, or the Brotherly Gallic Gun, that's freaking sick. Um, HP of 50% or above, uh, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30% up. Uh, so he's rainbow, technically, so it just sucks it's 50% or above. Extraordinary damage, I'm assuming that's extreme, and one turn companion attack plus 20% up, which is going to be, uh, if he attacks first in the turn, everybody after him, after he's launched a super attack, is going to get an increase in their super attack. Um, if he is farmable, he's going to do really good on a mono agility team. Uh, one thing, I mean, I, I don't think he is going to have his own dupe system, but you never know. Uh, passive skill reunion with my older brother. I changed the powerful ball to spear, uh, so that's going to be, uh, I think, still strength to agility. And he does attack plus 20% up. And some basic link skills, combat ethics, Saiyan, um, that's Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, King Lineage, Royal Lineage, Brain Faction, I think that's Brainiacs, Saiyan of Blood, or uh, the, the Saiyan Lineage, uh, Respect, and Call call Judgment or Calm Judgment. Overall, pretty cool. Um, like the card art, let's just jump into the next one. I want this to be really quick. Um, so this is the Beerus and Weiss mixed together. It's called Bill Schwitzer. <laughs> Bill Schwitzer, I like that. I actually really like Bill Schwitzer. That's a really sick name <laughs> for the translation. Uh, anyway, attitude of physical attributes. Attitude of physical. So physical types, key plus two, attack and defense plus 60% up. Okay, that's really not bad. Destroy ball, give the opponent extreme extraordinary damage and greatly reduce the defense. I really don't think that this is going to be uh, an extreme damage modifier. I think that's supreme. Uh, greatly reduces defense. Eh, I'll take it or leave it. Change the skill ball and chick you to a body ball. Attack ball and defense. 50% uh, up. So he is also going to be an orb changer. Um, again, so just so you guys do know, I will be doing a full in-depth review to get accurate translations. Um, skill ball, I would assume, is going to be technique um, to a body ball, which is going to be physical. That's going to be my assumption on the matter. Um, yeah, and then attack and defense plus 50% up. So overall, this is going to be a really good character. I really like him. I like the card art. Um, it's funny. I don't think we have... The only physical beast that, I, that I'm thinking of is the SR, and I don't think we have a physical beer, so that kind of sucks. God's Dimension, Gourmet, uh, Innocence, uh, t t uh, Brain Faction, Astounding Speed, or Shocking Speed, and Coalesced Warrior. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, overall, really good unit, though. Really cool. I really like him. 
Um, I like the art. I like the way that they have him like like a, like a raggedy uh, cat type of a thing going on. And Bill Switcher. I really like that name. It's pretty sick. Uh, next one is Saliza. So he is a vigor of knowledge of intelligence type. Key plus two attack and defense plus 60%. Death Ball gives super opponent damage or yeah, whatever, to the opponent and greatly reduces defense. I'm assuming supreme damage. Uh, high density evil attack and defense plus 70% up and high probability and even attack plus 30% up and HP 10% recovery with high probability at the start of the turn. So I'm assuming it's it's a guaranteed 70% attack and defense up. Then you have a high probability of an additional attack 30% up and another high probability for an HP 10% recovery. I think those two are going to be separate. Again, I'll be doing more in depth once we get full accurate translations. This is just me guessing. Um, atrocities, attack plus 10% up, nightmare, uh, shocking speed, geniuses, uh, big bad bosses, and union warrior, fuse, fusion warrior, uh, fusion uh, links. I think, is that, what, is that, was that what this guy is that he had over here at the bottom? Um, coalesced warrior is probably fusion. Awesome. Oh, by the way, his freaking art is sick. I really like Frieza, and him mixed with Cell, freaking phenomenal. Um, and then we get the Doken Waken of Barlot, which is freaking sick. I like that. Barlot, I, I love Barlot. Uh, he's such a good character. Uh, HP is 30% or more with strength attribute. Uh, key plus 3 attack and defense plus 70% up. Um, not too bad, not really. I mean, he's going to be a decent uh, leader for you guys because he does hit off the attack link and defense, you know, makes him make you tank a little bit better if you don't have a leader on your strength team. Uh, he, for one turn, greatly raises his own attack and giving the opponent super uh, super damage, super opponent damage, assuming that's uh, supreme damage as well. Uh, Battle Ethic Saiyan. Ariel, uh, Saiyan's Pride will be inherited, or um, I don't know what that one is, Union, Warrior, Cupid Warrior, and Breakthrough. Alright, that was horrible translations for the translations through Google, guys. But anyway, cool, that's awesome that he is getting a Doken Awakening, and I'm assuming he's going to get the Shattering the Limit, uh, the Doken Awakening. Um, anyway, last but not least, this is the one that is, I guess, they're technically waiting for. Uh, it does, he's not really that great, though. I mean, so for, he gives key plus two. In fusion category so he doesn't get key plus three and HP and defense plus 20% up I thought he was gonna be a little something a little bit more you know a little bit different it, why does it look like he is doing um, this is go tanks but why is he doing the wolf fang fist that doesn't make any sense to me wolf funk ball fist yeah he's doing the wolf fang fist that's insane <laughs> uh, give the opponent super huge damage I'm assuming it's going to be supreme uh, and lowers defense trial with attack and defense 50% up at the time of triggering the death blow so on super attack he gives himself attack and defense plus 50% up that's really not bad actually uh, link skills battle ethic saiyan saiyan blood um, the innocence shocking speed and fusion so yeah you know what honestly not bad you know what it's, it's probably because he's his base form over here and that's why he only gives the hp and defense plus 20% up that's actually really not that good as a leader ability um, I guess, uh, you know, key plus two is all right, but he, uh, him as a unit, not that bad, really not that bad. He's pretty cool, pretty awesome that. Anyway, guys, stay tuned, hit that sub button if you're new. I will be doing a more in-depth review if I messed anything up. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it all down, but I will be doing um, a, a full review on these cards when we have more information. So thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.